So what's going on guys and welcome to the first episode of our, I bet you guessed it from the title and also the thumbnail and now what you've got on screen it is going to be with Tottenham Hotspur as you can see here there that is our starting 11 and the transfer budget we are going to be given is around about 32 million and 1.4 million pounds on the wages so what we're actually going to be doing we are going to be setting it up a little bit different so we will be playing with euros instead of pounds uh, actually we will be playing with sterling because I've never played a creamer with sterling before so what we're going to be doing we play it with sterling we're going to leave it as lenient download the latest and we will actually go into the European competition um, I think we can set up we don't want the Champions Cup if we can set up the Europa League which we have done here and now we want to uh, redraw the uh, teams and hopefully it will be put in there as you there we have been put in there we are along with so it's obviously Spurs Braga, Standard and Trabzon. So hopefully we can go ahead and win that group. Uh, actually, what I might do is set it up as our real group. So unfortunately, we can't actually choose our proper group. But what I have actually done is I've changed um, Standard for Andelect to make it as realistic as we possibly can. So we want to save all of the changes as you can see there and pretty much that is going to be what we are going to be doing in the first season we're going to be playing on world class just for this team time being and we will probably go ahead and uh, up that to legendary pretty soon depending on how well we start the league season so as you see there we have in fact gone with the name of harry redknapp we are going to be going the england uh, nationality Outfit style will be a uh, shirt and tie and uh, obviously we will be uh, we actually will be cut ourselves pretty stocky because without offence Harry Redknapp wasn't the slimmest of guys at the club but basically my main transfer targets I think we need a second striker to partner uh, Harry Kane up top or maybe even if Harry Kane players are known we need a second striker to be able to play the cup games and uh, maybe uh, make a few first team appearances we also I think need to uh, maybe try and invest in a left back a young left back because at the moment we've got Danny Rose and we've also got Ben Davies so they're two reasonably good left backs but I don't know whether they'll be good enough to go forward especially if we're going to be looking for Champions League place this season. Another player I think we should be able to get is another good centre midfielder and a centre attacking mid. I do know we have Christian Eriksen and I am not planning on selling him whatsoever. But what I do want to do is bring in a pretty much a second player that can play Cam. Um, so if Eriksen, if the worst case scenario, if Eriksen does get injured and we need a second player to step in, um, so a creative player down the middle is basically what we're after. I was actually thinking of Halilovic because Halilovic does look really really good I have been looking at a different um, I have been watching a few different crew modes on YouTube and a lot of people have said how good actual um, he is so I will be looking at getting him so actually here the, uh, these are the three tournaments we can choose I'm thinking we should in fact go for the top one but then if you look at the one on the right the best team is Napoli and Fiorentina apart from them the rest look pretty standard but then the one on the left for 500,000 more as you see there it looks pretty hard they've got Torino they've got uh, Monaco Valencia Schalke so I think I will be going for this one here on the right which is Las Americas Invitational and hopefully we can go pretty far in that competition and maybe get a little bit more extra funds to spend on a good player so we're going to jump straight in have a look at the emails and actually there uh, the domestic club objectives they want us to reach a semi-final which I think is good enough and I think we should be able to do that and actually there the assistant manager for us is also saying we need to look for a striker which is good to see as that he and I have the same opinions the first scout has arrived which I'm not really bothered about um, and also our league objective they want us to qualify for the Champions League which is basically exactly the same as what I want so me as Harry Redknapp hopefully we can bring back the glory days Harry Redknapp was the last manager to take Tottenham to the Champions League and they ha had an absolutely amazing run they've done so well they got basically as far as they possibly could unfortunately they went out in style they actually lost 5-0 against Real Madrid and lost 1-0 at home so they got absolutely hammered against uh, Real Madrid but they did actually in fact I believe that was in the quarterfinal maybe even the semi-final but we did do very well we beat Inter Milan Gareth Bale's famous game and we also beat AC Milan in the process so we did do very well we're going to have a look at the strikers that they have scouted and let's see if we can find any decent ones that I think should um, do well at the club. So we're going to have a look at the squad here and as you can see we have by far I believe one of the best goalkeepers in the Barclays Premier League. I think he's up there with David De Gea and uh, Courtois. He's absolutely amazing. He's had a fantastic start to this season. He's made some absolutely world class saves and if it wasn't for Hugo Lloris, let's be honest, Tottenham wouldn't be as high at the table as they are. We also have Kyle Walker. He is very good at going forwards. 
but defending wise he's not the best we have two very very good uh, center backs here we have Toby Alderweireld and we have Jamba Tonga so these two will definitely um, be playing first team football pretty much every week unless there is a dramatic drop in form or one of them does in fact get injured but Toby Alderweireld looks absolutely incredible then we have Ben Davies uh, Delhi Ali what a fantastic player this guy looks 69 rated only 19 years of age he's got his first England call up so I'm so happy for the lad and uh, him along with Eric Dyer will do a very good job at the centre defensive mid rolls then we have our star man Eric Lamella uh, has that something special hopefully we can start to push his rating up just a little bit more hopefully get into the mid 80s which would be good to see we have Nasser Chadley who's I'm not that fond of to be honest he will be staying at the club I think unless we can find another really good left midfielder who can take his place then we have Christian Eriksen who is I believe one of our best players at the club him along with Harry Kane Eric Lamella three fantastic players then we have Harry Kane 78 rated only 21 years of age Michel Vorm he's 31 years of age he's 80 years uh, 31 years of age and he's 80 overall I think I might actually be looking to sell on Michel Vorm and maybe bring in a younger goalkeeper with a little bit more potential because I do know if Michel Vorm doesn't play many games he will probably be complaining and he'll be sending us emails saying he's not happy he wants to leave and I think if we don't sell him now his value will start to drop and especially if he's not playing with his age getting older his value will drop as long as as well as his overall and that's definitely what we don't want then we have Nabil Bentaleb Clinton NG a player we just brought from uh, Leon. he has some very good physical stats and he's um, he looks pretty decent striker so maybe we can try him up top along with Harry Kane and uh, maybe he can play a few cup games as well then we have Kevin Wimmer this guy looks really good actually 77 uh, races he's only 22 years of age we recently brought him from Kong for eight million pounds and he looks pretty decent so maybe he could be um, challenging for that uh, starting place then we have Tom Carroll, um, Min Son, we brought him from uh, Bayer Leverkusen and he is known as Sonaldo. He does look very good and I think it will be him or Chadley who will be starting in that left mid role. I believe it might be him because he might have a little bit more potential than Chadley. But Chadley also is a pretty good player, don't get me wrong, but I just don't seem to get on with him well in FIFA. I don't really like his attitude in real life either. Then we have Andros Townsend, uh, Ryan Mason, uh, Kieran Trippier, uh, Federico Fazio, not that fond of him, he's a little bit too slow in my opinion. Then we have Danny Rose. Musa Dembele, uh, Joe Pitchard, then we have a loads of little youngsters here who will be sending out quite a few out on loan. Harry Winks looks pretty decent as well. Uh, Anoma, he looks very good, showing great potential, got good physical stats, he's good cam, so maybe we can loan him out and hopefully his rating can start to improve as long as Ad Alex Pritchard looks pretty decent as well. D. Andre Ledin is actually on loan at um, Sunderland as long as well as uh, Kenneth McAvoy, uh, Cole First. Uh, this guy here, I don't know how to pronounce, and Grant Ward's actually a player of ours now. So that is our score report. It looks a pretty decent squad. So I think we're going to advance a little bit further, and then we're going to have a look at a few players to see if we can find that player that can really come in and strengthen up the squad. So they actually want us to win the Europa League. So that is actually going to be a very difficult objective for us. But will we win the um, Europa League? Let me know in the comments down below whether you think we will be able to go through the whole season and win the Europa League, which I think will be a very difficult objective but if you guys believe I can win let me know in the comments down below as I'd really much appreciate it and uh, Joe Pritchard is also saying he'd like a chance to play in the squad maybe we could put him onto the bench as we sim a few of the preseason games let's see here we got our first game uh, actually um, away from home up against Salt Lake so as you can see we have got our first game here up against Salt Lake we are going to go ahead and sim the game which I already said we have got pretty much one of what I believe is probably our strongest lineup out hopefully we can pick up a first good result Lamella picking up a goal straight away and our number 11 scores a goal in the fourth minute and we end up winning the game 5-1. Uh, Ericsson picking up a goal, Lamella picking up a hat-trick and uh, Vertonghen also picking up a goal. Unfortunately, Eric Dyer did in fact get injured but he didn't actually come off so I don't think it would have been that big of an injury. We're going to go ahead and have a look at our emails. Hopefully it wasn't that big of an injury. He's only out for seven days which is great to see and um, also what I've done is I've got, um, I've seen quite a few uh, different things and I've seen Lots of different players I would love to bring into my squad. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and show you my um, shortlist. And from my shortlist, I think we have got some fantastic players in there. So we've got Jack Butland in there. Maybe he can replace Michel Vorm on the substitute bench. But I don't know whether he will actually come because he's such a good goalkeeper. And he's not going to be playing, especially with Hugo Yorish in the squad. Then we have Daniel uh, Rugani, Victor Wanyama and Ruben Neves. Uh, Basil was also in there. Dabi Sebelos looks really good from Real Betis. Maximilian Meyer and Oliver Torres. These two guys look absolutely incredible so maybe we can bring in one of only one of them too because obviously they will cost us 
quite a bit of money. Ross Barkley also, Nabil Fekir to uh, maybe go up top as well, along with uh, Mbolo and uh, Angel Correa and Felipe Anderson. So they are the few players that we have scouted, and what we're going to do is going to pretty much put a, few, put a few offers in for them, and let's see if any of them will accept. So start off, we will go in for Daniel Rugani. What I am planning on doing is pretty much offering uh, Federico Fazio plus a little bit of money for uh, this guy, if we can bring him in. What a fantastic signing it could be, especially I think he'll be a lot better than what Federico Fazio is, but I don't think the game will actually let us offer. Yes, they will. Federico Fazio is 77 years of age, but he's 28, and this guy here is only 20. So what we're going to do is offer around about 4 million plus Federico Fazio. If they accept that, I think it'll be a fantastic deal, but whether they do or not, I'm not very um, convinced, especially if he's coming from Juventus. So as you can see, we are going to put Harry Kane on our first training session. We put him in for the five different slots because he is very close to going up to that 79 rated. Hopefully he can get some good ratings. He's got an A in the dribble course and unfortunately he hasn't yet um, gone up to 79 rated but that training definitely did help. So we're going to go ahead and advance to our second game but before that we are going to have a few of emails to have a look at and uh, Oliver Torres I want 20.5 million for. Maximilian uh, Mayer they want uh, 17 million for. Seville also only want 4 million. Ross Barkley want 21. Fekir 15.5, Mbolo 11, Korea 15, and apart from that, hopefully we will offer a few counter offers for these and maybe one of the clubs will accept. So I think this might be a risky decision, but I'm looking at offloading Moussa Dembele plus around about 10.5 million for Oliver Torres. That would in fact, because Dembele's value at 10 million, so that would in fact make up the 20.5 million. Will they accept that? And will we swap Moussa Dembele plus cash for the youngster named Oliver Torres. I think he'll be more creative and more attacking minded, but we're also going for Maximilian Meyer as well. Maybe we can put a straight bead in of around about 13.5 uh, million, and if we can get in 13.5 million, I think that could be a great deal. But Danny Sebelos looks a very promising left winger as well. He plays left mid, so I think what we might do is put in pretty much a very low offer, around about 2.8 million. If they don't accept, we will add a player in, and maybe better will accept that bid. Ross Barkley, I think I would actually prefer um, Oliver Torres over Ross Barkley, but I will go ahead and offer Ross Barkley a little bit of a deal, but I don't know, maybe Ryan Mason plus 11 million, but I have very, very much doubt Everton will let their star man go. Neville Fekir, I think, will probably be the best striker to uh, come in at the club. What I might do is try and offload one of the players that's going to be pretty much offload a little bit of Deadwood, and I think um, if we can offload a little bit of Deadwood, it'd be great. So unfortunately, I can't really find any other players I really want to get rid of to swap for uh, Nabil Fekir. So maybe if we just offer a straight £12.5 million bid for the 21-year-old French striker, maybe that could lure him in. Uh, Mbolo as well. I think if we might actually be able to get him for £8 million. If we could get this guy for £8 million, he looks very promising. He's an absolute tank up front. He pretty much reminds me of Didier Drogba when he was younger. Angel Correa, they don't actually want that much for either. And he looks a very, very promising player from um, Atletico Madrid. He's only 20 years of age and the youngster, the Argentinian striker, looks like he could be an absolute monster up top if we could lure him into Tottenham. So we're now going to go in for Ruben Neves. What we're going to try and do is offload Ryan Mason plus around about £1.5 million for uh, Ruben Neves, the 18-year-old player from Porto. Um, he is five years younger than um, Ryan Mason and I believe he has got a lot better potential as well. Uh, Bazor, they only want £9 million for, so maybe we could have an absolute spending spree here. We could spend absolute millions, five million for this guy, whether they, I actually let him go, I very, very much doubt it, because he is what I believe one of the big future stars. But we are going to be moving into our next game, which we are up against Santa Fe. They draw their first game up against uh, Napoli, and hopefully we can get a good result in this one, but I will actually be playing our second squad, because I will be playing our first squad up against Napoli. So we have, in fact, select change every single player in our starting lineup. As she there, Clinton NG will be leading the line, and behind them, Pritchard, Son, and Townsend. Hopefully, we can get a good result up against Santa Fe and unfortunately we end up losing the game 2-1. Quinones picking up two goals for them and Trippier picking up the goal for us so maybe unless we beat Napoli we might not even be progressing into the next round. So as you see there unfortunately Juventus aren't happy for the bid for Daniel Rugani. They're not interested in a 3k Fazio so what I will be doing is up into 6 million plus Fazio even though they're not interested in it maybe a little bit extra cash sum might convince them to let him go. So as you see we've got loads of emails come back here. As you see there we actually have got a transfer bid for Eric Lamella from Olympic Marseille and unfortunately I'm sorry guys but you're not going to be getting Lamella unless you pay an absolute humongous fee because he is definitely in my plans for this season. Basel have in fact accepted an £8 million bid 
for Mbolo, so this could be a fantastic signing for us. I will offer him a little bit less than what he's wanting because I don't want to be spending all my money on this guy, but he will be given a squad rotation player role, which obviously he's not going to be used to, especially when he's been the star man at Basel. Uh, Olympic um, Lyon also accepted a 12.5 million bid for um, Fekir. So this could be another big deal. He'll be an important first team player if he does come in. Because he'll be playing games here, there and everywhere. And I think he could be a decent player. Betis unfortunately say they still want 4.8 million for um, Danny Sebelos. So I will be offering 2.8 plus. Maybe offload a little bit of a player that I'm not really interested in using. Which could be in the likes of... Maybe I will offer Tom Carroll, so uh, 2.8 million plus Tom Carroll. I think uh, Betis will accept that because it's a good player coming into their squad as well. If not, we might as well just go ahead and accept and uh, pretty much count off of whatever they want. But unfortunately, they say here they don't want to let Oliver Torres go. So what we do is offer a straight £15.5 million bid in for him, whether they accept that or not, I'm not sure. Timo Werner, they only want £3.9 million for. So if we could get him for an absolute bargain, that'd be great. But I don't think uh, Stuttgart will let him go for such a small amount of money. So we have, in fact, got a transfer offer for Nasser Chadley. I'm not convinced that this guy is the best for the club. Actually, here, our chief executive is saying if we counter for around about 11.1 .1 to 12.9, they might accept. But if they go ahead and accept a 14 million bid for uh, Nasser Chadley, I will happily let him go and we'll have to look for another left winger. Ajax, unfortunately, say they don't want Bazor to leave unless we offer 9 million. Atletico Madrid say they want 15 million for Angel Correa. Everton say they're just not interested in Ross Park because Ross Barkley will become out of an equation. Maximilian Meyer, they have in fact accepted a 13.5 million bid for him. So we will go ahead and offer him a contract, but whether we will actually accept him into the club is another thing. I'm not sure whether he could be um, a player that will uh, get first team football every week. I would, in fact, I think, prefer um, Oliver Torres. So now we're going to go ahead and offer Ryan Mason plus £5 million pounds for Re Chedley Bazor from Ajax, the 18-year-old. I think he could be a really good player that can come in in the important games, especially in the cup games, and he can really drive the team forward because he's really good defensive as well. Unfortunately, Juventus once again saying they will not accept the bid for Rugani. So we have going to go ahead and offer straight £10 million bid for Rugani and we will go ahead and put a Fazio up for sale. Maybe a club will come in for him, I hope so. So we are going to in fact move into what I believe is going to be our final game of this cup unless we can win it. As you there, Santa Fe are currently sitting in first place. They got four points. We're currently sitting in second. We got three points and Napoli is sitting in third. So if Napoli beat us, we are out whatever happens. And we've got to beat Napoli if we want to progress into the next round of the cup and hopefully get a little bit more fun. So as you there, they drew both games. They drew against Salt Lake and they drew against Santa Fe. Hopefully they will lose this game up against Spurs and we end up winning the game 4-1. A fantastic result from us. There. are uh, uh, Ali picking up the goal, uh, Ericsson picking up one and Harry Kane picking up two. So fantastic result for us there and we have progressed into the next round. So hopefully they will give us a little bit more funds. So Nabil Fekir is in fact saying he does uh, want to come to the club but he wants us to offer him 70,000 which I will go ahead and do and I will offer him a... Um, squad rotation player which I've offered him more wages this time but given us a lesser squad role. Uh, Betis, Betis um, have also accepted a 2.8 million bid uh, plus uh, Tom Carroll for Danny Sebelos the left midfielder who can also play centre attack in mid. He actually wants 20,000 so we'll offer it to 13, uh, 17,000 sorry and uh, maybe that will convince the uh, youngster to come to Spurs so he's having his wages more than doubled. Atletico Madrid also say yes for Oliver Torres. 15.5 million for the guy. He wants 70,000 which I'll happily give and a four year deal and he will be an important first team player if he does come in I think he could really strengthen up the squad hugely and actually there we also get given an extra 1.5 million for qualifying for the next round of the cup which is great to see we're going to go in for some more training here and we're going to pretty much put Harry Kane in once again and hopefully Harry Kane will be able to go up to that 79 rating which I'm really hoping he will be able to so unfortunately he has not gone up to an 80 uh, 79 rating yet he didn't do that bad to be honest but um, his stats aren't improving hugely but we are in the semi-final now up against Deportivo Cali and uh, we are going to sim this one with our best squad hopefully we can get a good result and uh, obviously the main objective is to win so actually the Aston Villa have in fact come back to us and said they will only give us 12 million for Nasser Chadley so if they're only going to give us 12 million I will up it to 14 million because I don't want to let him go 
for a little bit money because otherwise we're not going to have that perfect replacement for him. As you hear there, Ajax unfortunately saying once again they're not accepting the bid for Bazor. Atletico Madrid have accepted a 13 million bid for uh, Angel Correa, but I think Nabil Fekir will probably be the preferred choice over uh, Correa, but I will uh, check out both players. I've scouted both of them and their scout reports will be coming back very soon. Mbolo also saying he wants 40,000, so he wants quite a bit of an increase, which I will in fact go ahead and give him, and a four-year deal, and he will be an squad rotation player if he does come in. He's 18 years of age, and he's only 76 rated. Maximilian Meyer saying that he wants a bigger squad role at the club, and uh, also in talks with Everton is Nabil Fakir, so he wants to be bringing him in as soon as we possibly can. We have in fact sent him a uh, offer, whether he's accepted it or not, I'm not sure. Fantastic news here as Juventus have accepted a £10 million bid for Rue Ghani. We're going to offer him a contract because I believe this, even if he's not going to be a first team player straight away as soon as he comes in, he will really strengthen up the squad in the long run, especially when his ratings starts to improve. Also in talks with West Brom is uh, Victor Wanyama, but I don't think we will be going him in for him in the end, especially when we've got the likes of Bazor, etc. But we are going to be simming the next game, which is going to be at home up against Cali, which I don't actually think it's going to be at home, to be honest. I think it is just a random stage. Stadium. And uh, we actually win the game at 2-0. Ericsson and Kane picking up both the goals. Unfortunately, Kane did actually pick up an injury. Hopefully, it's not going to be too big of an injury. Uh, the press conference, uh, final scout report, Everton offer accepted. So, Everton has, they've accepted a bid for £13 million for Nabil Fekir. So, we're really hoping Fekir can come to us and say he's accepted his contract. But, unfortunately, we have still got no email. And we've got some bad news here as Harry Kane has been has suffered a torn hip flexor and will be out for six weeks. So we really need now for Nabil Fekir to come into the club. And fantastic news as well that Aston Villa have in fact accepted um, the 14 million counter offer we sent to them for Nasir Chadli. So Nasir Chadli will be a, on his way out of the club. So now we're going to have to look for a left winger. Also Porto is saying they're not accepting the Ruben Neves bid. Angel Correa says that he wants a bigger squad role and Nabil Fekir wants a bigger squad role. So we're going to have to offer them bigger contracts because otherwise Nabil Fekir we're not even going to get him. So unfortunately for us, as you can see there, we've just been informed that Nabil Fekir has decided to join Everton instead of coming to us. So that's some bad news there, but hopefully we can bring in the other striker in the likes of um, either Mbolo or Angel Correa, or maybe even both of them. But as you see there, Victor Wanyama, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Mbolo is accepted, as has Oliver Torres. So Oliver Torres we will accept as the first player to come into our squad. 15.5 million for the Atletico Madrid man. Also Mbolo will be coming into the club as I think we might also bring in um, Angel Correa as well or do we go for a left winger bring in Rugani and really strengthen up the squad even more I think that's probably what we will be doing Rugani unfortunately wants a bigger squad role, which is fair enough which I will go ahead and give him once we adjust our wage budget and another good um, piece of news is that um, Danny Sebelos has also accepted his contract to come to the club. We're going to go ahead and accept him. So we've now got £25 million left plus £118,000 on the wage budget. And uh, we've still got the money to come in for... Um, Nasa Chadley, which we will then go ahead and buy a decent left winger. Even though we've got Son, I think we can probably bring in a better player than Son for the money. But before we go ahead and uh, search for a left winger, and before we play our final game in this Invitational Cup, we are going to end up the episode here, and it's going to be getting on a little bit. So if you did enjoy the episode, please make sure to hit the like button down below, as it's going to be hugely appreciated. And uh, subscribe if you're new, and I really hope to see you next time very, very soon for the next episode of whatever that career mode might be. Thank you.